The CTrader Algo API allows anyone to use various web services and resources using a WebSocket connection. Compared to the HTTP protocol which is used in the network access feature, the WebSocket protocol is faster and allows for receiving data in real time. In this video, we will demonstrate how simple it is to send and receive messages using WebSockets. Let's move to the Algo section and add a new CBOT. Let's name it WebSockets Example. In this example, we will connect to a feed provided by TraderMade and we will print the incoming information in our CBOT log. The first thing we need to do is to define a WebSocket client. Then we need to initialize our endpoint URI which is the location we will connect to. We will also subscribe to the text received event. This event is raised whenever text arrives to our application through the connection. In the text received, we will print the message received. Let's build the C bot and run an instance. We can see in the log that the CBOT receives a message confirming the connection. Let's go back to our CBOT and use the service have already connected to in order to subscribe to a symbol's price feed. We will write the relevant code to send the subscription message to the service in our onStart method. The code and the token have been obtained from the trader made website. We will also modify our print command to replace brackets, as they cannot be used in the API's print method. At last, we will close our connection on the CBOT's onStop method. Let's build again and see our price feed streamed in our log. In this video we have demonstrated how easy it is to use WebSockets to retrieve data from the internet. We hope that you found the video helpful. Feel free to ask any questions at the bottom of this video and subscribe to be updated when we publish a new video.